Hello friends, welcome back. You're watching Gate Helpline and in this video we'll see Gate 2021 CSIT set number 2 question number 19. So friends, question number 19 is consider a set associative cache of size 2KB. So 2KB where 1KB equals to 2 raised to power 10 bytes with cache block size of 64 bytes. Assume that the cache is byte addressable and 32 bit addresses used for accessing the cache. If the width of the tag field is 22 bits, the associativity of the cache is dash. So friends, this kind of question you might have seen many times in the practice sets and in the previous year question papers as well. So this is one of the kind of questions. So we'll see the explanation of this question in this video. So let's start the explanation. So friends, this is the explanation area and we have already copied the question here for you. So this is the question which we have copied from the question paper and below that you will be seeing three formulas which are related to cache. So friends, these three formulas, we will see how we will be able to use them in this question in a while. But first, we will see what is given in the question and we will take out the important things from that. So friends, first thing is the cache size is 2KB. So I will just take out this thing and we will write it here. So the cache size is 2KB. That simply means it is equals to 2 raised to power 11. Okay. The second thing is the cache block size is 64 bytes. Now we do have the block size as well. So the block size which is given to us is 64 bytes, which is equals to 2 raised to power 6. So we have already noted two points. The next thing is assume that the cache is byte addressable and 32 bit address. So friend the total size of the address bit is 32 bits. So we'll just keep it here that the total size of the bits is given is 32 bits. Next thing is the width of the tag field is 22 bits. That simply means the tag bits are given to us and the tag bits are equals to 22 bits. So we'll note it down this one as well. The associativity of the cache is dash. So these are the four things which are given to us in the question. And now we'll see how we can make use of these three given formulas. So first one is the number of cache lines. So we need to know the what are the number of cache lines. So how to find out that? That is simple. We just need to divide cache size upon block size. So friends, the cache size is already given to us, which is this one. Okay. So the cache size is already we have that is 2 raised to power 11. So we can equate here that the number of lines is equals to number of cache lines equals to 2 raised to power 11. That is the cache size upon block size. So what is the block size? Block size is 2 raised to power 6, which is already given to us. So we'll just write 2 raised to power 6. So when we equate this, we will get 2 raised to power 5 because the powers used to subtract when we are doing the division. So now we have the number of lines. Okay. Next thing is total number of bits. So the total number of bits is a combination of tag bits plus set bits plus offset bits. So in this formula, we know what is the total number of bits that is 32. We know the tag bits, which is given as 22 bits. Set bits, set bits we don't know and we need to find out. Offset bits, offset bits we know because offset bits is actually the block size only. So the number of bits we required in a block is known as the offset bits. So that is equals to 6. We'll get it from here. So now we'll just equate it and get the set bits from here. So the total number of bits is 32 equals to tag bits is 22 plus set bits plus offset bits. So what are the offset bits? As we told you, offset bits are equals to the block size. So which is equals to 6. Now, the set bits equals to 32 minus 22 minus 6. So which equals to 4. Okay. So the set bits we have is 4. Now, the last formula that is number of sets equals to number of cache lines upon number of lines in one set. So friends, this number of lines in one set is actually the associativity of cache. So if we know what are the number of lines in a set, then we can tell what is the associativity. 
okay so these number of lines we need to tell in this question so the number of sets equals to what we have just find out that is the set widths so that will be equals to 2 raised to power 4 equals to number of cache lines so the number of cache lines is from this formula which is the first one that is equals to 2 raised to power 5 so we'll just write 2 raised to power 5 upon number of lines in one set okay so this is something which we are interested in that is number of lines in one set because that is going to give us the associativity of the cache so now if we calculate this the number of lines in one set it will be equals to 2 raised to power 5 upon 2 raised to power 4 which is equals to 2 okay so friends answer to this question is 2 so now we'll quickly go and check in the question so this one is a numerical answer type question so there will be no marking to it if you want to check uh, you can check this instruction as this is a numerical answer type question it is of one mark and no negative marking okay so we'll go to the answer keys and we'll check for question number 19 so for question number 19 the answer is 2 so friend this is a fairly simple explanation to this question and for any question of this kind you need to remember these three formulas because with the help of these only you will be able to get near to the solution so friends if you still have any doubt or question let us know in the comment section so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and we'll see you in another video